I've been accumulating a ton of Pokemon bulk over the past few months, especially because of those Goodwill random buys. So I'm going to take that bulk and try to convert it into Pokemon treasure. Maybe I'll be able to get some old Wizard of the Coast cards or even maybe get some level X cards to add to my Pokemon binder. Now let's take our bulk to the local game store. Okay, gonna take my bag of bulk with me and let's turn this into treasure. I got here just in time for the store to be open so that that way I actually have time to wait around as they go through the bulk and sort it out and figure out which cards I wanna take out from them. So basically it's an entire 800 count long box full of Pokemon cards, mostly commons on commons. There is some reverse foils and rares in there as well. So we're gonna trade this in and see how much cards we can actually get. Okay, so we are back in the car and we're back with the cards we were able to trade for out of all the bulk that we brought to the store today. So I'm gonna take this out of the little sleeve, the penny sleeve here and show you what I got. So I actually got a few GX cards. They were just really cheap and I don't have these in my GX collection yet. So I thought I'd grab them nonetheless. So we got one card here. We got Gumshoe GX, $2 for all these GX cards, which I think is a great deal. Drampa GX, and then we got a Tapu Coco. GX as well as all my cards are falling down. And the next card here is the only level X card that I got today and it is a beautiful Dialga level X. This is near mint right there, NM at the top. So really happy to add this to my binder. And I've got one more down from my old collection that I needed to get. So I'm really happy about that. But you're probably wondering, what is the card behind here? Can you see the yellow border? Uh-oh, are you gonna take a guess here? It's a big one. Blastoise moderate play, not bad at all, $110. So all in all, we had about $140 credit that we were able to use today. And that was incredible because that was all bulk. That's all you gotta do sometimes. You buy those Goodwill lots, you bring the bulk to a store and they will actually trade. Not every store, but I'm very fortunate to have a store that is awesome here in Calgary that will actually trade some of my bulk cards for obviously great cards like this, Blastoise. But that's not all today, that is not all. I haven't pulled a Charizard yet from Obsidian Flames and I have to do that. I can't believe the amount of Obsidian Flames that I've actually opened up and I still haven't got the Charizard. So we're gonna open this pack up and see if we actually get one today. All right, here it is, Obsidian Flames, please. Any Charizard will do, even just the regular EX, please. Come on, here we go. Oh boy, let's go through this pack slow. Come on, Charizard. Not even sure if there's anything at the back. I can't really see from this angle. I'm looking at the screen right now. Okay. First reverse foil here is a Combi. Oh, okay. And... Ah, no, we got Entei. Oh, boy. Oh, no, we are not doing good with Obsidian Flames, but here's the code card for you guys if you want to redeem that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the first episode of turning bulk into Pokemon treasure. Next episode, maybe I'll go for the Charizard. Maybe I'll go for more level X cards. You're going to have to find out once we get more bulk to bring to the store. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I do make videos every single day almost. So if you want to be notified for future uploads, also hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one.